Let's learn about modules and using them with local relative paths. Modules using local paths. These are the modules which you create locally as per your requirements. To define a module, create a new directory for it and place one or more related .tf files inside just as you would do for a root module. Terraform can load modules from local relative paths when they are called by child modules. Now let us create a root module by creating a directory which includes all the related files like input variables .tf, all required resources in main .tf file and to export relevant useful attributes information in an output .tf file. Now our root module is created. Now we can call the root module through child module by creating a module block in the configuration files of child module and mentioning the only mandatory source field with the argument as local relative path of root module directory. This is the way how the modules work. In this way we can reuse the root module code at multiple places. So here I have created a root module in which it contains all the related configuration files and now I am calling this root module from this child module by defining the module block with the mandatory or required field source which contains the information as relative local path of the root module. Now let us redesign our lab using modules concept. Let us rethink by watching this layout where we can reduce the code duplication and implement modules. Redesign our lab using modules. I have enclosed the repeatedly deployed resources that we deployed twice in our lab by yellow round shape rectangle in jump box resource group and a corner snipped yellow rectangle in backend resource group. So these three resources have been duplicated in our code and we have duplicated in jump box resource group and in backend resource group. So these can be modularized. So now let us create a root module for those resources and then re-implement the lab by calling the root modules through child module. Steps of root module design. Now based on our scenario, let us design a root module. We need a network interface, a NSG and a virtual machine to be deployed by root volume. To deploy all these resources, we need to know the resource group name, location, network interface name, NSG name, VM name, subnet ID and admin password. We can generalize it more as by creating more input variables like VM image reference, VM size, admin username, managed disk and other variables. You can do it as an exercise in your lab by using them additional input variables. For now, let us continue designing the root module. As an output variable point of view, I think we need network interface private IP address for NAT and NSG rules. Another required output will be VM ID which will be required to deploy web server extension on the VM and the NSG name. So in this case, we can export the attributes of resources as per our requirements. In this module will be reused by lot of configurations. You may wish to place it in its own version control repository as it will be kept changing over the time. You will always be adding more input output variable as per your changing requirements over time. So as the time passes, you may come across you need more input output variables 
so you can control with all the changes by implementing version controls on the root modules let us create the root module and using that module to redeploy our lab here i am in vs code continuing with our previous lab where we configured input output variables and passed the values using interpolation i will copy the code in a separate directory and continue from there by modifying the code and redesigning as a root module then i will create a new directory for root module and will start creating a root module from scratch as per our design i am going to deploy a network interface a nsg and a virtual machine by root volume after that i will also create input output variables file for root volume so let's start so now i have copied the code from lab 5 to lab 6.3 also created a another directory for module which i have named as compute so my module name will be compute and i will be creating a root module here and then i will modify my existing code to use this root module so let's start so i have copied the code of network interface network security group and the virtual machine in my module so let me create an input variables file now so i will need all these variables as input variables and vm nick an nsg name can be derived from the vm name so i'm using only these variables So now I'm going to variableize. So this will be var dot subnet id. So network interface will be this network interface. so our input variables file is also created successfully and the main.tf is also created in the root module let's export the values by creating the output.tf file so as per design i have to export these values as an output variable so let's export these values so this will be the nsg name which i need to export let me export it so this is the way how you can export the id 
and private IP address so it's all good I have exported all these values let me comment this thing so here the root volume is created with all these resources in it that will be the output export from the module and these are the variables which is required to call these modules and pass these values let me save and now modify my backend and jump box code to use this module so I am sourcing this module from the relative path modules dot com module slash compute and I will need to pass these input variables to call this module so I'll be using these variables so that will be jump box VM So I've created this jump box VM module and this module will deploy all my three resources which includes network interface, NSG and the virtual machine. So I can comment out all this code which is deploying the same thing. So let me comment it out. So I'm going to repeat the same thing with backend Terraform configuration file. So let's do that. So now I am deploying the NIC, NSG and VM using my compute module for both backend and jump box environment also updated the NSG and firewall rules to use the module output variables by interpolating those values so this is the web VM and in the same way this is the jump box VM and I'm using the interpolated values for my NSG rules so this is the interpolated value and for the NSG association with NIC I'm using this interpolated values here I'm using the interpolated value for the VM extension so this is for backend and that's for jump box so in jump box I'm creating the jump box VM and for NSG rule I'm using the module output variables in the same way the NSG association with NIC I'm using the module output variables so that's for the jump box for front end there is nothing to interpolate as all the resources but in the missing one I have got these NSG rules and the firewall rules so this NSG rule I have got these module output variables has been used by interpolation and the NSG name and for the firewall I'm passing the private IP address for the web VM and the jump box VM so these values has been interpolated so let me start by initializing the backend. So backend is initialized successfully. Let me run the plan. So 
so it's going to deploy 25 resources let me apply the config i'm happy with the plan So our code has been deployed successfully and all the 25 resources has been deployed. That's my private public IP address. So let me browse my website. So this is the dashboard and I can see all the resources has been deployed using our own root module. Let me browse the website. Here we go. Everything working as expected. So in this lab, we redesigned our real life infrastructure scenario lab by creating root module from scratch and removing the duplicate code by using the designed root modules in the child module using local relative path. In the next video, we are going to set up another lab on modules using Terraform. For more information, I have created a complete course on Udemy covering the following topics in demand. Learn Terraform on Microsoft Azure Cloud. Comprehensive course on Terraform. Azure DevOps. Secret management in both Azure DevOps and in Terraform. Release pipelines and CICD pipelines. All in one course. Please subscribe to my channel and for course information link is given in the description. Thanks for watching.